So we're back with Devin again. Yeah. Lot, broken face. Yeah, a lot, a lot of content with Devin. This is actually video three today. But um, so we're working on the first gen. What's kind of the idea? Because I've been so out of touch with this truck for so long, I kind of just bolted the manifold on. I just got that on, hung the turbo on there, and uh, since the turbo's then, tight, right? Yeah. Okay. It okay. Should be most. I tight. see like the housing and everything's loose, but that's fine. The, this big turbo is, is just hanging by this, and this bracket that mounts to the manifold yeah. back. Yep. But that's okay. all that is. But that's yeah. that's cranked on there. But you have the, those are all tight, right? Yes, the okay. only thing okay. about that is this should yep. be loose enough that, to line up your piping and get like that. Yeah, this snail is loose and this snail is loose. Yeah, yeah, so and I did that I on purpose. Snails. Yeah, yeah, that's I, that's good. They're loose. Yeah. Then um, we can test fit the piping and everything. Everything's hand tight right now because it's going to need adjusted. Yeah, I want to get the piping on and everything, and everything. I can still move it and see where I'm going to have to set stuff before I start tightening yeah. and all that. We don't want something rubbing on something, and then once you start rubbing on it, cause vacuum leaks and stuff, and then you're losing boost or blowing oil too, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that'd be a nightmare. No, we got a couple things to do. We gotta take off the oil filter. How much do we actually have to attach to be able to fire back up, though? Really? Because I didn't touch anything under here. So exactly. technically, if they're just snug, you don't even need these on to start it. But no. As so long as those are snug, it's not gonna. As long as if there's oil in this. And if we were to even just like hook up, there's no there's no coolant though. There's yeah, no we, training fluid. But I don't know uh, how crucial that no, is for just a startup. No, training fluid won't hurt it starting it up. It's not like we're gonna do a burnout with it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but well, no, yeah. it really wouldn't be too much. Like as long as we're feeding it oil and getting the oil back into the return, we should be good. Technically, you don't even need that hooked up. No, start it. It might even start right now. I don't even know. It would start right now as long as the lines were tight. Oh yeah, yeah, that that that's <laughs> this would true. Be spray city. Yeah, kind of forgot about that. <laughs> as long as we don't throw any rags in the turbos, we'll be yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, there's no mice. Or our there. mice friends are in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> up in the turbo. Yeah. But yeah, so that's what we're planning on doing here. We're just gonna tinker on this for a little bit. But uh, again, thank you, Devin, for helping me out with oh, the yeah. Duramax and stuff oh, like that. Yeah. He's been uh, he's been here helping out with that kind of stuff because it's just been so convenient to be able to get in touch with him without having to go through shops and waiting two weeks and getting charged way too much and not getting good help. And so it's been awesome. So we're gonna get on with this and uh, we can get some stuff knocked out. Get rock and rolling. Well, we got uh, the turbo lifted up to get a net threader on. We've got a boot on down there. Get the oil feed line to the smaller turbo on. Obviously, he got the lines all fed on there and uh, trying to pull this boot off down here to make everything fit. But we're gonna pretty much wrap it up in terms of what you guys are gonna see in the video. Um, I'm not sure what he's doing the rest of the evening in terms of this or not, but this is where we're at right now until we see it again. We'll get it further along. We just ran into more problems than what we expected. So... So truck stuff. Yeah, it just goes <laughs> to show that nothing is bolt on. Yeah. Like you have to do fab work. So we'll get it figured out. That doesn't sound like the Duramax, the Dually. I don't know. So. I don't know, but we're gonna get up on out of here. What is up, loud and proud crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. So the plan for this video originally was to finish it out with working on the first gen with Devin, which has been an absolutely huge help, by the way. So thank you so, so much, and you see this, man. Um, but all that aside, that's what was the plan for this video, but due to being low on time and having to drive an hour home and still edit all the videos that I filmed with him and get other work done. Wasn't able to do much more of that and uh, not to mention it was a long day and Reagan stuck out the entire day with me and I felt kind of bad. I'm like, okay, it's 7.30 now, we should probably go home. She's been here with me since eight o'clock. So, um, long, long day. Anyways, let's just do a quick rundown. I know this video is short and actually I was gonna just do a live stream about this and I thought if I'm gonna do a five to 10 minute live stream about this, I might as well just film it and post an actual video so it's not blurry, low video quality, low audio quality, all that stuff because yeah, it'd be cool if it's live but in the same sense, then it's just not as good a video. I'm talk about the plans for the white 7.3, the totaled out 7.3, the truck that the insurance company gave my dad a big fat check for, and then he's like, oh shoot, this is more than I was actually hoping for. He's like, that's cool, 
here's the truck and he was gonna sell it to a tow truck driver for two grand and I said, uh, wait a minute, I wanna buy the truck off you, don't sell it for two grand to anybody else, I'll just give you the two grand or I'll buy you two grand in parts for your flatbed or your first gen or something then you just let me do whatever I want with the truck. He's like, oh, sounds fair enough, here you go and uh, basically once I get him the money for the parts, or the cash for the truck, or one or the other, whichever he decides, then it is ours to do what we please with. So the plan for this truck is to keep it as cheap, but make it look as good as possible. So that being said, basically I want to replicate a truck that somebody might be able to find at, let's say on a Craigslist ad or a Facebook ad, which be careful with by the way. <laughs> but anyways, that's like, you know, totaled out truck, runs, Runs could drive, but you know, wanting to part it up because the bed's all banged up, it's got a dented door and janked up front bumper, you know what I'm saying? A couple flat tires, like it looks really bad, but it's really not that bad. Like this truck, when I first saw it, I'm like, oh, the frame's probably bent, this is probably screwed up, that's probably leaking fluid everywhere. It doesn't have a single leak, it starts up and runs, and by the way, it runs really rough, probably because I need to change out the fuel filter because we had some negative 40 degree days and even that my dad's new truck was gelling up and just looked awful. Um, chances are it was running like crap when we started it up because it has all that gelling in the fuel lines because then after about five minutes it's, it idles out nice and silky smooth. So chances are that's all that it needs and then it'll be running absolutely awesome. So I'm wanting to replicate a build that's like a totaled out truck that you can get for really cheap, that's still a diesel, four wheel drive, under 300,000 miles and you can have that thing built and nice for under five grand. And that's kind of the goal that we're going with on this truck. What I do with it afterwards, I don't know. I kind of mentioned, which by the way, wouldn't be for a couple months anyway, so don't hold your breath. But I kind of thought about just flipping the truck and uh, turning it into, hey, you can build a truck really cheap, make it look nice. And as long as you share the honest history about the truck, still could sell it for a pretty profit and make some money off the truck. Or we might possibly do like a really, really short giveaway because this isn't a, truck that's like a rust free perfect Duramax or really nice second gen dually or any of the other stuff that I've done that's just been like super super clean and well taken care of. This is kind of more like it's got some rust on the frame, it's got some rust on the cab corners but it's gonna have a really nice, we'll get into those parts, and it'll be a nice straight driving truck. Heat works, AC works, truck runs, starts up great, new batteries, all that stuff. So it doesn't leak any fluids but it's not a perfect truck. If you guys see what I'm saying, that's why I would do it a short giveaway, just so the people that really wanna pot, try to win it can get in, but I'm not gonna leave it open for a long time for tons of people to get multiple entries in, because it's not it's not a truck that's like that amazing that I really wanna drag out a giveaway with, you know what I'm saying. But all that being said, the goal for this truck would be very simple. Three inch front leveling kit, I know three inch might seem like kind of a lot for a level kit, but three inches up front because it was a plow truck for a little while, and that front end is a little bit saggy. Not bad, but just enough to kind of bother you, and I think a three inch up front with a flatbed would give it a nice level out look and make the truck really nice to drive and it might give it just enough clearance for some wheels and tires with a little bit of stance. And since it does have the fender flares on the front, we're probably just gonna leave them. What we're probably gonna do is do some 20 by 12s and 33 by 1250s on it. Um, anthems, of course, and then in terms of tires, probably go with something a little bit cheaper just to keep it on the low cost end because like I said, it's kind of like a budget cost, like let's say you're a high school kid with five grand, but you want a diesel, you want something that's running and driving, uh, but it needs a little bit of work. So we're gonna do probably some like federal tires on it or something like that just to keep the cost down. But some mud terrains, a beefy stance look, and I think it might look really, really nice. In terms of the front bumper, front bumper shot, it's gotta go. So what we're probably gonna do is like a, an off-road front bumper, not like a giant brush guard, not a ranch hand, something like that, but like an $800 to $900 front bumper just to give it a really good look to get rid of that dented one and just give it the farmer slash off-road twist um, ranch truck twist that we're kind of going for um, that's capable off-road a little bit, but it's also a work truck. And then also, when it comes to a flatbed, that's what we're gonna be doing for the bed of the truck. We're not gonna be doing another bed and trying to find new fender flares and piecing all together and all that crap. We're probably just gonna go with the flatbed and when we go with the flatbed, we're not gonna go with a fancy aluminum bed with all the cubbies and all that crap. Because chances are, if you're a high schooler looking to rebuild your truck to make it a drivable truck, you're not gonna spend five grand on a flatbed or six grand on a flatbed, otherwise you would just go buy a lot nicer truck with another five or six grand if you have that just spent. There's a company not far from here, I'll share their name 
after we get the flatbed on the truck if they're really reputable and they have a really good uh, really good uh, bed for the truck but they make the beds in-house so they make the beds they powder coat them and all that stuff themselves and that's why they can give such a good deal they don't order in CM beds Bradford built they can do them a lot a lot more cost-effective they build them themselves so we're probably gonna go with a bed through them and they said that they can do a bed installed wiring LED lighting all that stuff headache crack for $1,650 bolted on, installed, everything wired up, good to go. So pretty cool, pretty excited about that. And that all added up, wheels, tires, all that stuff, it's under, I think under 5,500 bucks for the whole thing, which is really, really good. So that's kind of where we're at. That's kind of what the goal is for that truck. Just so you guys have an idea, and uh, we're probably gonna wrap this video up because it was I was gonna do a live stream with it just real short, um, but I, I don't wanna make a really long lengthy video about this topic. I just wanted to share with you kind of the plans behind Old Whitey so you guys can get a little bit excited for it because it's going to be pretty cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to enter to win the Duramax. It ends and I think, by the time you see this, I think 19 or 20 days. I think 19, could be 20. But anyways, information down in the description below. Definitely enter to win that truck. It's ending quick, a little over two weeks, and then it is gone. So do not miss out. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Information in the description below. Leave a fat thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team. Join the family. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.